morning viewers on this Saturday morning. 10 miles from my house today. I might as well just be in my back garden uh, out with Let's Go Digging. Paul and Joanne, two of the nicest, most reliable people in the whole hobby of metal detecting. The biggest uh, rally group in the UK. Uh, Let's Go Digging nationwide. Uh, and they literally put digs on nationwide, week in, week out. Always a warm welcome of LGD. So let's go and see what we can find, eh? Right, right, viewers, like I said, out with Let's Go Digging today. I haven't seen this lovely lady for ages. Was that cake she brought, Joe? Was, was that cake she brought, Joanne? It was cake. Oh, yeah. I'll have to put my name down for some of that. <laughs> Paul, great to see you, mate. The most reliable man in UK metal detecting. More people rely on Paul to get out digging every week than anyone else. Always good to see you, Paul. Good to see you, Steve. I messed up. I didn't read the group description. No dogs allowed. So luckily, we're only 10 miles away. I'm going to go out beeping for an hour and then... Uh, I'll be back. I'll so if you're not signed up, get yourself signed up to Let's Go Digging and we'll keep you flat out. Nationwide. Nationwide. You puffs. Just, spoke. Yeah. Just over by the tea hut. What's your name, mate? Dave. Dave. Dave, Dave and Brenda. Dave and Brenda. Glenda. Glenda, not Brenda. Hey, she's, she's vicious, you know. Be uh, careful. It, it rhymes with Brenda, Glenda. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's, Dorothy. he's found this beautiful brooch. Yeah. I do like it. It's, it's got an ancient design and it might be ancient. I'm just not sure. But cool, it's beautiful. Well done, mate. Excuse me. Uh, you don't watch the videos, do you? Yeah, I, yeah, I watched one last night. Oh, oh, you just, you yeah. watch your videos. I had nightmares all night. I've got my dog in the car and I only live 10 miles away. There's no dog, so I'm going to go and take him home. Right, well, well done on your lovely brooch. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, Good, good, good luck for the rest of the day, Brenda. Hey, I mean, Glenda. Glenda. <laughs> she got busted out the car and uh, I'm taking her for a walk on this lane by the dig because there's no dogs allowed. He's had his little crap. And uh, I'm going to take him 10 miles back to, down the road to home. He don't like being left in alone, but uh, Emily's back at the flat these days, so she'll mind him for a bit. Right, I've just got back from taking the dog home. Luckily, I don't live far. Um, just bumped into Julian. He's showing me this. And yeah, it's not ancient. But do you know what? For silver brooches, that's a stunner. It's got like a Prussian design. Could be military connections or just harking back to like all the top end families that come out of Prussia and that back in the day. Probably about 100 years old. Well done, Julian. That that is a real keeper. That one, mate. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Good to see that. I'll get me going now. That was the one after. Nice to see this beautiful hammer that Wayne's showing me. Really crisp example of uh, an Elizabeth. All the little details. All uh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Wayne. Did, did you find it, mate, or, or is Wayne taking? Uh, you're going to find the next one. Yeah. What, what's your name? Ellis. Would you like to give anyone a shout out, Ellis? Your mum or anyone? Uh, brothers, anyone? My brothers and sisters. Shout out to Ellis's family. All right, Wade. Lovely. Right, well, congratulations on that peach of a Lizzie. It's beautiful, mate. Well done. Well Thank done. you. Where, where have you come from today? Bristol. Bristol. Yeah, not far then. No, no. Yeah. Hour. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Cool. Right, I've got to go and film this fibula. Congratulations, Good Wayne. luck. You, you got a nice fibula. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was catching up with Luke, just uh, getting a few finds on the video viewers. Luke has got this stunning aroma fibula, big chunky one and for anybody who's new to the metal detecting these would have uh, held the um, togas up and they would have actually wore them that way around but it's absolutely beautiful well done mate well done
Beautiful sun, sunny day out here with Let's Go Digging now. Got great turnout as well. Uh, I've just bumped into Reggie. Reggie's got this other fibula. So it's nice to see some of the Romans coming up. Well, well done, Reggie, mate. Cheers, bud. Nice one. On the Romans. Fair play, buddy. Good luck. Cheers. On, on you, mate. Okay, viewers. Well, you know every time you go out, it's hit and miss. Whether it's on your own permissions, but certainly hit and miss on rallies. It's like... Yeah, everyone's well behaved, but all them calls are trying to um, take the fines out from under your call, you know. It's a uh, bit of a bum fight on a rally. Not a bum fight, bun, B-U-N. Bit of a bum fight on the rally, so who gets it first? I haven't um, shown you any of my fines today because they ain't found nothing. A few shotgun shells, this, this and that. And I only really got going at 12 o'clock. It's probably about half past one now. I've done some filming just thinking I might not might not find nothing today just got a screechy uh, 93 94 on the day as two got something on the club there it's certainly a find may well be silver certainly hope so so let's have a look viewers and there you go it's a religious medallion and if it proves to be silver I'm, I'm saying it's a religious medallion that's certainly what it looks like and it's quite big look it's a uh, good inch longer more and if it's silver it's going to be the first silver one of these i think i've had a lot of like copper or alloy ones and uh, i've never had one this big it could just be uh, not silver you know I don't know but it's looking like silver even if it ain't got a mark on it it's looking like silver i'll give it the silver test when i go in i think it's a saint christopher actually oh hang on what's that there is that a mark and i think that's right and like the religious right and that's i don't know whether i'm on full zoom yet yeah well, it's got some writing there. I can't see any any bits where silver gilt has come off. Oh, it's got the weight. It's got the silver weight. That's another test, viewers. Somebody showed me a gold chain before. There was absolutely no weight in it. I knew straight away that wasn't gold. Doing that with that, I was I was I was feeling a bit despondent in case it, literally some of them are plastic with it silver coating on the or aluminium uh, that is a saint christopher and it's silver i can tell straight away by the weight viewers let me give it a wash well i've cleaned it up a bit viewers it's a beautiful saint christopher certainly got the look of silver i haven't seen a mark yet and i don't know whether I'm zooming in with you guys now. I'm looking to see if any of these dark spots here are cracks in the possible gilding. But that might still actually just be dirt clinging to it. Usually if the silver gilded, you will. It'll jump out at you some cracks. Let's see. Even when, it, when the metal's uh, a bit iffy there, it's still silver on them edges i haven't seen a mark but there might be one you know it could be foreign and depending on the date and where it was made foil test will tell me when i get in if it's silver it's got loads of writing around it Let, let's see if we can read it viewers hang on let me put it there You might be able to read it. Something St. Christopher. We knew it was St. Christopher. I don't know what that top bit there says. Oh, I don't know, viewers, but I was having a rubbish day. I'll try and uh, decipher all that later. I think that might be upside down now, the writing there. Oh 
marvellous views, absolutely marvellous. Don't you just love it when you're having a quiet day and something pops up for you? Oh yeah, I like that. So viewers, I often get people chatting up on my YouTube or on my Facebook how to get out and uh, uh, Gary chatted up on YouTube the other day, uh, oh, well last week and I've got him in another group so he can get out again with more people. So nice to meet one of my viewers for the Yo. first time, Gary. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Steve. You, you like my fucking dotty videos, Yeah, you? my missus loves your dog. My wonky video. What, what's your <laughs> missus' name? Leanne. Leanne. Shout out to Leanne. Morning, babe. Uh, <laughs> I had to send Buster home today, Leanne, as you'll see, bless him. I might get some funny clip at him at the end, like I try to. <laughs> but nice to see Gary for yeah, the first nice time you, after he commented last week and, and I've plugged him in with a few connections. That's yep. what it's all about, mate. Nice one. You puffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just coming to this pasture that they put on after dinner, viewers. And Paul found this earlier. It's absolutely marvellous. It really, really is. I love it. I've joined uh, Facebook as a group for everything, viewers. If you find a few old dinky toys and whatnot. Uh, there's a dinky toy group on Facebook and they're really cool guys and you know everything. Awesome mate. Brum, brum, brum. Bit of WD-40, drive, drive at home mate. New set of wheels, if you like. Just don't, don't get it running on diesel mate. It's a bit, bit expensive. <laughs> He's not that ugly. His teeth are better than mine. <laughs> I don't know about that, it's only three I got. <laughs> so apart from my nice uh, St Christopher, I haven't really found much at all really, but I have been actually chatting to a lot of um, people on the rally too. It is a social event. I've just been having a good old chinwag with some of my viewers. You know, I, I meet a lot of my viewers out in the fields and even though I don't know them, they come over, with big smiles on their faces. It's lovely. It's been having a nice chat. So this is my second find, really, of any note. I'm not saying it's old or anything. Let's see what that name is. I'm not sure what it is. John Carr or something. I don't know what that key would have been off. Chest of drawers, uh, little box. Who knows who it is. But it's a key and it's a find. Well, 15 minutes to go, viewers. At least there's some lovely scenery, look. Uh, signals have been a bit sparse in these pastures I've been looking at for a bit. But lovely panoramic views. Even way over that side, there's big hills in the distance. Uh, yeah. Just been digging the odd button in the last hour or so. And uh, random bleeps, like this random bleep. Oh, it's metal detecting in it, viewers. There you go, viewers. Uh, another rally in the bag. Only one keeper for me today. Uh, the Silver St. Christopher. Well, I'm hoping it's silver because, uh, yeah, I'll do the foil test when I get in. There you go. Look, it's never over for these hard-working people, look. See, viewers, here, here's Joanne there. She's picking the LGD flick. Last job of the day, Joe. Last job of the day. Great to see us both again. And you, Steve. I'll see you local soon. Will do. Welcome anytime, mate. And good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely people. Let's go digging nationwide, viewers on facebook um so yeah i've only got like a 10 mile journey today so that's um that's a bonus go back home put my feet up test my silver saint christopher see if it is silver oh i've got a big tractor here he's gonna wait for me gotta get on the grass thanks mate big old tractor there all uh all the cut and frost in the countryside, viewers. Um, hope I'm going out with the clodhoppers tomorrow. 
this video uh, I might put this out today sod it yeah I'm going out with the clods tomorrow so I'll go home and fiddle with my phone and magic this video up um, right beautiful countryside I mean you can't see it it's all over there so if you like the videos viewers please like comment and subscribe the channel is slowly growing bit by bit it's getting there so it all helps the channel thank you very much viewers well uh, i'll just give my saint christopher the silver test viewers and a bit of wash and it's uh, not silver it's not silver viewers which initially I was gutted and I was going to throw it in the tap pile because it's my only find of the day but it's still a St Christopher I've found that there's not much uh, in the way of precious metals in these religious uh, pendants a lot of them are just like a bronzy or brassy coppery thing at least mine's silver gilded metal detecting in it Let's hope we get a rare Saxon coin tomorrow, viewers. I could do a bit. So could my bank, bank manager. Right. Signing off from me and Captain Buster. He wants a bit of this chicken and mushroom pie. And he will get it, viewers. Because what Buster wants, Buster gets. God bless you. He's a bit down in the dumps there, look. Can you see? Well, he's in his bag and pose, and he's a bit down in the dumps because he's missed his dad. So I better give him some chicken out of my pie, and then give him lots of cuddles, viewers. Got the cat there. <laughs>